I feel it is my responsibility to bring up this issue to the attention of international society and to try to raise awareness as this region in the west of Kazakhstan is my motherland. And it really breaks my heart to see the state it is in at the moment. The Caspian Sea is a very interesting environment. Depth of the sea is very shallow. Any change will have a lot of impact on the species living there. The Caspian seal is the only marine mammal in the Caspian. It is endemic and the smallest and most vulnerable seal in the world. Since the 1930s, the population decreased of 90%. What happened exactly? Nobody really knows. There's a lot of question about it. All has begun 14 years ago when I first heard about the Caspian seals throwing themselves out of the sea and this alarming news wasn't talking about one of the kind incident, thousands were dead. At the time I thought to what extent the terms of life in sea must be unbearable that seals habituating there for centuries were dying by a dozen. Um, since then saving Caspian seal practically became my number one idea. The first treat that happened to that population is obviously the seal hunting. The hunting has been decreasing the population for over and over in the past year. And now the harvesting of seal is less important, but the population is still very low. At the end of the Soviet Union, there was a lot of oil and gas exploration in the Caspian Sea. It was the biggest oil discovery since the past 30 years. In early 2000, they started the exploitation of oil field. In the same time, an episode of mass mortality happened and when the expert say that it was because of the Canyon Distemper virus, the local people were the first to doubt about that. They were asking, okay, why those studies say that? Who was paying for those studies? Was it really the virus that killed the seal, or is it something else? The construction of a film brought back the sediment that were on the bottom of the sea to the surface. Those sediment were full of industrial contaminants that were used during the Soviet Union. The seals swimming around that area were once again prone to the contamination by those sediment. In February this year, scientific survey was organized and conducted by me with the involvement of French scientists with aim to study and research the environment of seals inhabiting places there, also analyzing the water samples. Um, and as a result of the conducted chemical analysis in all the selected samples of water sets, water pollution was identified by oil products. Also, in all the water samples, vanadium and beryllium exceed the maximum permissible concentration. If in the beginning of 20th century the Caspian seal population reached 1 million, then in 2006 the entire population had only 17,000 capable of producing offspring of females. The northern part of the Caspian Sea represents an ideal habitat for the reproduction of the Caspian seal. The females are going there for breeding and nursing.
oil and gas industry. It represents a big treat for the seal because of the traffic that it implies. It can be a big problem because it brings stress and mortality. My vision of changing this critical situation is creating a buffer zone of the Caspian Sea in which will be totally eliminated, including the passage of ships and flight of aircrafts, monitoring of ambient air and creating an information data bank of the Caspian Sea. If nothing is done, it might be on the way to extinction in a few years. It's important to send recommendations to the relevant agencies of the countries of the Caspian region about the exclusion of the seal from the list of uh, field facilities and inclusion in the Red Book. <laughs>